Hello everybody and welcome to another video. I am Nina Just Play, and this is definitely not a roleplay video. This is a update video and I tried to put some Star Stable music in the back and I'm hoping that that worked. So today's update is kind of big, so I'll pull that up. So it is an equestrian mix and match. So, there's an XP Druid race, you can pause here if you want to read that, and then find Alex to locate the race, and then you go and find this person. Race in style. So there's three, two human sets of clothes, and two horse tack sets of clothes. Well, Possibly one or two, I'm not sure. And this is the Open House Dressage Arena update. So, yes. And then we have the bonus shop that we're going to do. And coming next week, we're not the only ones who can't wait for more tinkers, right? All aboard the hype train. Have a great week. Hugs from Star Stable Team. So I think that that's super cool, this is going to have a big XP, I love that they brought new, more stuff out, and the open house, which is super exciting. So, they've got some little decorations up, I see, and you can see, I think these are banners or flags, and then you come in and these two people and these tonos will rear up for you, which is really cool. And then again, it's very decorated in here. I don't really know how many of these are things. Um, then I also think you can talk to a fair amount of people. I'm not sure who. Um, and then our first, first store that we're going to come across is this one right here. And this is all the stuff from last year. And then there's another jacket, which I will not be showcasing today. So this is from last year. So there's two pretty cool pads. You see, I bought some of them. Um, not a huge fan. The one tax that I got, because it's really nice to show our set. Um, so yeah, definitely have enjoyed the set. And then the next store, we're just going to pop over here, is actually at the Global Store or the mall. So let's just pop in the Global Store. And then for clothes, you can see right here already. So my character. There we go. You can find the new jumping set right here and I like it. I'm not a huge fan. The pants look a little bit wrinkly, not to mention all of this stuff is super expensive. But if you are willing to pay the star coins, not bad stats. Um if I were to get any of these items, which it probably won't be, I would get the jacket. But there's already other jackets that match like that. The in the Imbriel, oh my god, I can't pronounce the name. There's another jacket at the mall that's just around as expensive with that, but it looks better in my opinion. For jumping and stuff, I just kind of more believe in, in the black and white. But if that's your thing, then go for it. And then the second set is this the Shaw set. So I'm just gonna say it right now. I'm not a huge fan of these new sets that they came out with. If I were to get any of it, I would probably get the Dreshaw's boots, the jumping helmet gloves, this, and then the pants. The Dreshaw's pants totally match. Like, if you didn't have those Dreshaw's pants, the Dreshaw's top wouldn't really work. I just don't like how, like, the detail is just insane on this, but 
like it's kind of an off white, so like a cream white, and then it kind of looks a little angry to me. And then I'm just not a huge fan of the top hats. But horsey on the other hand, I will be buying. I don't think I'll be buying saddle. But. So if you come over to the horse gear, you will see this beautiful, beautiful saddle right here. And it is red and black, which I really like. But again, I don't think I will be buying any of these items. That is the saddle. But on the other hand, this brand new white pad and leg wraps. I know they're expensive. I know it's a little crazy, but I am actually going to buy these. Because it's just, I really like how they look. And... I don't know, I just get some new vibes from it, and I just feel like this could match really well with the kind of the pieces that I have. So I'm just going to put my green back on because, you know, we need to be matching a little bit. And then, that's basically it for the stores. And if you come down here, they are riding Black Lusitanos. They will rear for you. And then we have a crazy amount of decorations. We have some balloons. We have some Lucy tunnels that are rearing. We see this girl riding the Lucy tunnel. And then also these banners again. Very beautiful. And then if you come in here this is a very professional dressage arena and this is the music that comes along with it. Very nice. So that is basically it for this update, except for the fact that Right over here, if you get off your horse, you can actually sit down as you see. You need to just want your horse to be able to sit here, which I think is cool. And then there's also another seating place right here. So I think that that is pretty awesome. I'm super thrilled about this pad. Super awesome. But now, let's head to more. There's two things. Oh Stop brushing. No, bad. No, don't. Okay, there we go. Now, let's head over to Moreland to go look at the global store and say hi to Alex and get a nice big X series. Here we are. You can see Alex is right over there, being crowded by tons of people, as normal and usual. But here is a bonus shop, and today is the Western Snazzy Saddlebag. And you can only get this if you got the one-time Star Rider payment. So, yeah, that's pretty cool three items, and then hopefully this task set will really start coming together soon. And last but not least, I'm just going to do this on this course today, even though I do have the course that's the other one, which is sad. So, if you click on Alex, then I'm not going to do this, but basically, it's a little race thing that you can do. And you're like, where's the race? I don't get it. You just get a little bit of money in XP. Here comes the race. Fort Pinta is where she is. The Frank ring. Oh my god, I can't She'll help you train. Okay, so now we have to go to Fort Pinta and cue the time lapse.
Okay, so now I'm at Fort Pinta, and I think that she would just be kind of near James. Yep, there she is on the horse. Well, not on the horse. Oh, I like that sense how she gets this horse, kind of. Okay, yes, I will do that. And this gives you 1,500 XP for your horse. The only thing I'm a little bummed about is the fact that this is, like... No, let me turn that down. This is a normal race. Like, this, there's nothing special and different about this race. Like, I've done this race hundreds of times. Most likely. I mean, I've been on Swiss Label for two years. So I've been on this a ton. And, like, I'm so happy that Star Stable made it. Did I say it? Um. Like, I'm super glad that Star Stable made it. Like, oh, it gives you a ton of XP now. But, like, it's, like, they just made a new character. And... Have you do this? It's just a little bit. I don't know. I was expecting a little bit more from Star Stable, but definitely, definitely liking it. Also, the next video that I'll probably be making will probably be a storyline update. Also, let me know if you guys like the new intro and outro. I'll be trying to put something slightly more professional together. Why did I just get Don't ask me what I'm doing. Is that on? I'm tired. As you can tell, it's kind of like coming out in Star State, but that's because I had a full day of school today, and it's Wednesday, which means I have to do a little update video. But it's totally worth it. Worth it. I always mess up on that one. And I jump over this and I just Mayor Peanut. Mr. Mayor Peanut. Ugh. There we go. Now, I only have to do one more race, and I'll be level 7. That is insane, you guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video. See you guys next time. Bye!